Hey guys, welcome back to another RAN repair video. Sorry about the mess here, but today we're gonna to talk about this CPP independent front suspension kit for, uh, well in this case, it's a Ford F1 pickup truck. Now, I don't know if all these kits are going to be the same or all the instructions are the same. This is just my warning for this particular kit. Okay, um, so this is just my experience. I'm not a vehicle builder. Um, I'm learning as I go and I'm relying on manufacturers instructions and uh, proper fitment to get the job done. Okay, so a um, couple things worthy of note. Uh, this truck had a leaf spring uh, front end with the steering box and that. This now has a power steering rack with a um, power steering pump and uh, independent front suspension that was welded into the frame. Okay, and the kit is from CPP. So I followed the instructions. Like each one has an instruction. I like you see how beat up these are. I followed all the instructions perfectly for every step on installing this. And what I ended up with was um, some damage to the ball joints, which when I contacted CPP, they said it was because of the stress the, um, the uh, suspension angles are. So it took a couple of people to talk to from there to actually come to a conclusion. Sorry about this mess here. Um, but the biggest problem was when I got the kit together, now again, like I'm not a, a builder, so I've never put anything together with this like Mustang two style uh, front end. So I had no idea that the control arms need to be, like once you have all your engine and of course your, the, the front end and all the weight of the vehicle that's going to be on it, they're supposed to be um, uh, parallel with the ground. Okay, so uh, what ended up happening was my sway bar would not connect. It was just like you, you could not get this joint to connect to the sway bar uh, due to the angle. And that was entirely because if you look at the way the suspension is on this side, you can see this spring is like out like that and the arm comes down like that and it should be more like this. So the springs that are included in the kit are simply too long. Um, and they need to be trimmed. Um, so what I noticed was when this was all put together with the weight of the spring and everything, um, it had so much force on the upper and lower control arms that the ball joints were binding. And I was like, that doesn't seem right. But again, nothing in the kit said that the springs had to be altered or that everything needs to be, you know, like that. No hint of that. So... After talking, oh, and now I have, uh, because of the, the stress that was on the um, ball joints, I have play in the upper ball joints and I can't do it with one hand, but they need to be replaced now. And the vehicle hasn't been driven or done anything. It sat here for a few weeks after it was put together. It was moved outside and then back in. Okay, so when I contacted them, I just said, well, like, why didn't your instructions say that? One of the, one of the people said, um, at customer support that you put it together like this without cutting the spring, drive it for uh, 100 miles, let it settle, and then cut the spring. So it's, it's um, your suspension geometry is right. Now, the problem I have with that is the other person I talked to said the reason the ball joints now have play in it was because of the spring is too tall and should have never been put in like that and should have been cut down. Uh, um, that... Eh? I don't understand that. I just don't understand that. That's, you know, two different answers. Um, so I said, well, am I able to get replacement ball joints because um, they're loose? Um, and the answer was just no, um, go buy some more. So that's fine. I'll go buy some more and I won't buy anything else from, from CPP. Um, their instructions just weren't sufficient and their customer service is non-existent. Um, so it's unfortunate that that was 
you know, where this came. And I would definitely think twice about buying one of the kits from them, especially if you're not very experienced. Now, if you are and you don't require the support or the proper documentation, there's a good chance you can have far better success than I did here with this job. But, um, you know, if, if you don't, well, you're going to run into problems. And um, I'm going to safely say that the warranty from them is, is non-existent. Um, ultimately, I told them they, um, I had to get a little angry with them on the phone. And I said, your recording, as I've been on hold for the last half an hour, said all of our parts are guaranteed for life. And I said, this, is, this hasn't even seen the road yet. So they ultimately offered to replace one ball joint, um, which has like a $29 value if I paid the shipping. And I was just like, no, no, we're not going to do that. I'll just get better ball joints than the, the ones they use, which are very low quality in these kits anyway, and go from there. So one thing though, worthy of note, um, two things, sorry, before I end this video. The first one is... I did end up cutting a little bit of the spring and a little more off of this side. So I have enough, about another 150 pounds of weight to go on the, on the very front of this truck, plus like um, carpet, headliner, and glass in the truck, okay? So with putting 150 pounds of weight on the truck, barely made any difference at all to these springs. They're a very, very stiff spring. So I cut enough where I feel like I'm pretty safe. And this side now is no longer it's not totally parallel but again i'm gonna have a little more weight and i'm sure we're gonna get some spring sag but i was able to get that um sway bar to, to line up properly now it's not on that side because again the geometry is bad on that side but this spring seems to be in way better shape here um hopefully i didn't overdo it but i guess if i did i can go buy another set of springs that are probably again higher quality than the stuff that came with this kit which all seems pretty flimsy um so this side's been cut, this side hasn't. I'm gonna go do this side right now, and then I'm gonna order some new replacement ball joints for this kit so I can replace them all and get rid of the ones that have been damaged due to the stress of it sitting here under its own installation instructions. Um, the second thing worthy of note is I looked through a few other documents I could find online with other companies with similar kits, and they all say the springs have to be cut before they're installed, every single one I could find. So <laughs> had I looked at other, you know, shopped around and looked at other kits, this could have maybe had a different outcome and saved me a whole ton of, of work knowing that, you know, at least a little bit of the spring has to be cut for basically every application. So, um, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know why they didn't say that. Um, you know, care was taken when it was put together and really like it was a struggle to get the springs in at full height. Like it was... It was, it was really bad. Like they were compressed from the middle. You had to compress them lots. Um, I had to keep taking it out and getting it compressed a little better, moving the spring compressor around, um, and then finally being able to get it in and, and uh, uh, thread the ball joints in. So that was, that was definitely a challenge to get the um, springs in at full height with the, I don't know, this is how much is cut off after. So I don't know, not even one full. Uh, once it was cut, the springs went in like they would in, you know, you'd expect to have them go in in a vehicle. You know, like, of course, compress the spring, it goes in, of course, it's tight, it's still a, a big spring. But it's not so ridiculous that the it's just trying to destroy the uh, front suspension. So, if you plan on buying this kit, I'm going to say... Mm, I, I can't recommend it. Um, you know, there's other kits for the same price in the same price range that, um, are from other companies that yes, I haven't installed them, but I can tell you that this company is not going to, uh, help you out. Um, and the quality of the parts is just does not seem, um, very good. But if you really insist on buying this kit, um, you're going to have to cut some of that spring out before you put it together, or you're going to end up with damaged ball joints. The put it together and then drive it for 100 miles and then replace all your ball joints. I don't understand what that was, uh, why they said that. All I can go by is what I was told on the phone and email correspondence. Um, but you know, at this point now, you know, the company can just keep my money and I will 
um, replace the ball joints on my own dime with, with something better. And I learned a lesson and hopefully this helps you if you're going to be buying parts. Um, and just, just remember like if there's something difficult to get, you have to buy from CPP. They're, um, uh, they don't stand behind the products uh, and their support is ugh, a bit dicey at best. So um, just a word of warning and um, I don't like making venting videos, but this was all very, <laughs> very frustrating. And I'm hoping it might help you with your project. So thanks again for watching and have a good one.